Hey there, in this video I'm going to teach you how to read Japanese manga for free and legally with Kenopi. Kenopi is an electronic book service provided by Kinokuniya. You can think of Kenopi as Kinokuniya's version of Amazon Kindle. Kinokuniya is Japan's largest bookstore chain and they have locations internationally as well. You can enjoy reading the Japanese manga for free and even use it as a studying guide. You can practice your reading comprehension for hiragana, katakana, and kanji as well as grammar. You could also read it out loud to practice your Japanese. If you can read hiragana and katakana, it will help when registering for Kenopi. But if you can't, just follow along the video and it will help you out. I made this guide to spread the joy of reading Japanese manga, to help you study Japanese, and to spread the love and appreciation of Japanese culture. I hope you'll enjoy watching. There are links in the description below that you'll need to use to follow along with the video. Link number one is the registration page. As you can see, the registration page is in Japanese, but if you use Google Chrome, you can use its translate function in order to change the page to English. Right click on the page with your mouse and you should see the translate to English option. Click on that. Now that it's in English, it should be easier for you to read. Check mark the privacy policy and the terms of service. Then enter your email address. Click on the orange button to send the registration email. On the next page, you'll see Kenopi sent you an email to confirm your email address. Click on that link and it'll send you to the full registration page. This leads you to a registration page for those that live outside of Japan. But what you want to do is, after you translate it, look for the link that says click here if you live in Japan. If you decide to register on the page for those that don't live in Japan, you may encounter a problem later on like I did, which was not being able to log in. You'll see it wants you to type your name in kanji and in katakana. For the kanji portion, you can actually write it in katakana as well. With link number 2 in the description, you can type your name in katakana with the online katakana keyboard. Kitsune mas. Fill out the rest of the registration page. Your password and password reminder does not need to be in Japanese. After you submit, you'll be taken to a confirmation page. Then you'll be taken to a page where you'll be asked if you want to tie your Kinokuniya membership card or Kinokuniya visa to the account, of which you likely don't have. That's it for registering. As you can see, it is now welcoming you on the sidebar. Link number three will take you to the main free manga page for Kinopi. You can read whole volumes of manga and select chapters. You can also sort it by boys manga or girls manga. Be sure to check the page weekly as they add manga every week. Click on the manga you're interested in reading. For this instance, we'll use Baymax. Click on the orange cart button if you're interested in getting this. Let's add a few more manga to the cart. As you can see, it's a couple volumes or chapters of older manga. If you don't want Kenopi to remind you of upcoming releases for this series, you can uncheck. The blue button is for save for later and the yellow one is to delete from your cart. Once you're done adding manga to your cart, you can click on the orange confirm button. Click the confirm orange button one more time. On the final confirmation page, you'll get a confirmation order number as well as the date and time of your order. To read your manga, you have a couple options. You can read it on your computer or you could read it on your smartphone. In this guide, we'll be using Windows, but there is also a Mac option. Click on link number 4 to get Kenopi for Windows Desktop. On this page you can also switch to Mac. Right click and change to English again. Click on the button that says free download. Click on the downloaded software and this installer will pop up. Click on the middle setup button and it will start installing. Once it's done installing you can click on the Kenopi icon. Type in the email you registered with and the password then click on the blue login button. On the main page, you'll find the manga you selected. As you can see, the sidebar options are in Japanese, and unfortunately, we cannot change that to any other language at the moment. I'll be going over a couple of the more important options on the sidebar. Change the size of the shelf. When you click on this option, you can change how you want to arrange the manga. What you have, the date you read them last, sort the manga based on title, author's name, Once you download the manga onto your computer, there will be different options on how you want to read it. 
click on the screen and you'll be able to see options like clicking to the page you want to read, seeing all the pages of the manga, how you want to read the manga like sliding the page, scrolling across, scrolling up and down, Simple page turner. Or my favorite, page flipping. As you can see on the PC, you'll be able to see the next page while you're flipping it. You can also change the color of the pages to make it easier to read, like changing it to sepia. You can also choose select chapters. Kenopi also has reading campaigns. Select manga are free to read but you can't own them like previously shown. For example, they have the first volume of Demon Slayer and The Promised Neverland available to read. It will open up in the Kenopi reader and then you can read it just like you would any other manga. Check out the campaigns as they're available for a limited time, like the Sailor Moon one. When you click on a manga and see this message, that means it's a manga meant for a mature audience. If you are 18 or over, you can click on the orange button to go to the manga. Kenopi also has an app which is in English and you can download it in your app store. When the app loads on the first screen, you can log in with the account you created. Click on the bookshelf button to read all the manga you own. After you click on and download the manga you want to read, you can click the play button to start reading it. When you click on the screen to explore the options to read the manga, you'll find it's the same as the PC version except in English. One difference I notice is the page turning option. Instead of seeing the next page like on the PC version, you'll see the previous page as a translucent image. You can also change how you want your manga to be displayed in the app as well.
If you want to add more manga through the app, you can click on the store button. Go to the all manga category. You can also get read-only manga campaigns on the app as well. For example, Golden Kamui. If there's a free manga you want to get, click on the red download button, then the orange button, and then you'll be prompted to enter your password. Click on the left button to submit your password. I hope you enjoyed this guide to reading and downloading free Japanese manga with Kenoki. I'll also be doing a guide for reading and downloading free Japanese manga for Rakuten books. Please look forward to it. If you like this guide, please like and subscribe and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks again and enjoy reading your manga.